guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i'm going to talk about something today that happened in montgomery county i think in maryland and uh last week i think the 31st or the 30th um this gentleman here mr etn kobongo was sentenced to 90 years in prison with 40 of those years suspended. Now, what this man did was very bad. And I don't want to say what he did. I want you guys to actually check this out. Now, a little bit about Mr. Cabongo before we go into this news clip. He's a 16-year uh, bus driver for Montgomery County. Right, or well, he was, and if it wasn't for the cameras that are on these school buses, he would have never got caught doing the mess he was doing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip and we're gonna come back and talk about it. Check it out. The case of Etienne Cabongo proves the value of security cameras on school buses, according to Montgomery County prosecutor. John McCarthy. But thank God we have cameras on buses. Cabongo had been driving a Montgomery County school bus for 16 years. But by 2018, new camera systems were being installed. And when a mother raised questions about her daughter's encounter with Cabongo, McCarthy said authorities had video they could review. These are children, they are profoundly handicapped kids, most nonverbal, could not articulate even what happened to them but the camera told us the story we needed to have. Ultimately, McCarthy said investigators documented four sexual assaults. Cabongo was sentenced to 40 years in prison this week. School bus cameras also documented an attempted kidnapping of a middle school boy last week in Gaithersburg. According to Steve Rondazzo, an executive with Bus Patrol, the company that puts cameras on buses. In the state of Maryland, we're on 4,751 school buses. So this is a really proud day for our company because of how passionately we believe uh, school bus safety is. Much of the attention on school bus cameras is on the automated systems that catch motorists blowing past buses with stoplights flashing. In Maryland, the fines are steep, $250 per ticket, with more than 36,000 tickets issued in Montgomery County last year. The contractor, Bus Patrol, says school districts can opt to use some of that money to install security cameras inside buses, too. The company believes in making the road safer, but it, it also believes in making the, the ride to and from school safer. That's the option Montgomery County chose. Prosecutors say that decision is now paying dividends. And they report schools are now routinely saving and reviewing video rather than waiting for complaints to happen. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Guys, there's the nukes clip. This is a uh, sickening individual right here. And honestly, man, in society, with all the stuff that us as common folk are trying to just deal with on a day to day basis, we have no room or tolerance. We should have no room or tolerance for pieces of shit like this. And I'm being dead honest. This guy right here. Needed to be taken right out back, right after trial, and set on fire, like they did in the Salem witch hunts. I timed to a stake and set him right on fire, because just just the whole thing about it. And then got the nerd that had a nickname, Mister Steve, and got some mess. Check it out. He was caught on camera. Now this guy pled guilty, and got a ninety-year sentence with forty years suspended. I'm gonna jump into why he was suspended. Why I think it's suspended. He pled guilty to sexual abuse of four girls between the age, get this guys, of 18 to 12 years old. He was caught on camera, the school bus camera that he knew was there. So that right there shows you how stupid this man is. He assaulted four special needs students, some of them which couldn't talk. And that's the part that's hard about this. You was victimizing people that couldn't even say anything or wasn't in their right mind to even tell that a wrong had been done to them. And that's low. That's real low. That, that's, that's as low as you can go with this. 
Now, the 90 years, 40 years is suspended. Now, I'm just going off the, my knowledge of being incarcerated. I think because he openly pled guilty. And the reason why I think he openly pled guilty, right, is because, remember, it said he was a school bus driver for 16 years. Now, I don't know how long he was at school. I think he got a history of this and he didn't want anything else coming up to further incriminate his embarrassment. So he just took the deal. Oh, I, I did it. I, I, I don't understand. You know, I, I, I could never understand this. And a lot, a lot of a lot of from a male standpoint, it really makes us mad because it's like a million women out there. Now, looking at this guy, he ain't the, he ain't the uh, best looking man out there. But I mean, you got prostitutes, you got OnlyFans, you got PRN, you know, you got ways of getting off. You don't have to direct that into a child. And that's my thing. This man willfully made an error by stalking and abusing in an inappropriate manner people that have already have, they're already shorthanded. And having obstacles in their life that are just physical disabilities. No care in the world. How he treated them or how he felt. He only felt his own lustful desires in wanting to get out the way he felt on somebody. That's appalling. They need to take this dude, right? And all the victims' families, the family of the victims of this, they need to do it like back in the day. Get a bunch of machetes and chop his ass to fuck up. And it sounds messed up, but it's real. It's real. This guy has no regard for human life at all to do that kind of stuff. No, no, no empathy for, for them being disadvantaged physically and mentally. And just, ooh, it's an opportunity for me to get my shit off. Yeah, you would have got it off, all right. If one of them kids was mine, you wouldn't have made it to jail. I'd have paid somebody. I'd have paid somebody to get you somewhere where I can get to you. You know what I'm saying? Or I'd have just went in jail, did something crazy, threw, threw a, a rock through the window or something so I can get in that jail. And I'd have moved around until I found you. This is stupid stuff, man. Stupid. And they put these type of people right in population. Reason why he got all, them, all that damn time and stuff? Because it was involved in school and it made the news. If this was something minor, he'd have been just like every other sex offender. Getting six and eight years and right back on the street to do this shit again. Man, I have no tolerance for this type of behavior at all, man. And it, it seems like, see, a lot of long time ago, it seemed like it was all, a lot of uh, white folks that was just doing this. You know what I mean? And it's just how the media used to paint it. Like white folks was uh, a, lot, a lot of old, creepy white guys was uh, doing this. But it's a lot of other people doing it. You know what I'm saying? This guy right here is a foreigner. Now, I don't know. Maybe in his country, you can uh, marry somebody that's 12 years old or, or a younger age because, you know, the customs are different, but you can't bring that shit over here. You definitely can't mess with the handicap. Anything with children or the elderly is off limits with me or anybody that stalks someone or takes advantage of somebody willfully because they're disadvantaged, whether it's physically or mentally out in my book and he violated two of those three you guys leave me a comment man if any of you guys are uh from that area and you know a little bit more than i do but the story the limited information i got please share it with the listening audience and the subscribers man you know as always guys like comment share and subscribe the new channel's up it's called stock market steve i'll leave the link in the uh description box some of my uh diehard subscribers i appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel you can learn something about finance and stock market investing. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for listening.